just about done getting everything out of this Yukon that I want. Um, there was a subscriber that asked about the door panels. I still got them if you want some. Door panels are in great shape. The seats are okay. I'm going to sell those. But uh, since we're taking things apart, I get a lot of questions about how to pull the factory harness. So there's just two little tabs down here. And there. And there. You got to take this piece off. That comes off. Tab there, tab there, and then tab down here. And this whole, whole thing comes out. And underneath, you have where everything plugs in. I think those are seven mils or something like that. And that's where you unscrew everything and disconnect all of that. All you need is this guy that goes to the computer, the uh, engine. That one goes to, that one might go to the, uh, the computer, I believe, maybe. But uh, basically, when you're pulling the harness off, whatever's connected to the engine you want, you don't need to worry about anything that goes inside the cab, unless you are 03 through 06 that has the electronic gas pedal. Then you need the pedal, you need the tack module that goes here, and then uh, just the wire that goes to it. Really, that's it. One of the things I ended up taking out was the uh, rear view mirror. And this it came with the uh, the temperature and the direction rear view mirror. Auto dimming, all that cool stuff. Since all of our vehicles already have it except for the 96. Let's see if it's unlocked. It does not have it, so I'm going to show you how to wire it in and something that does not have it. It doesn't necessarily need to be a Chevy or a GMC that you're putting it in. I mean, electricity is electricity no matter what it is in, but you need to get it out of one of these 97 or so, I think, all the way up to 06. What's up? So, so this is just a Torx bit to get the rear view mirror off. These are Phillips here. You're only taking this off so you can pull the headliner down a little bit to run the wires. Um, this piece needs to come off. That way you can run your wire down here. So this is the mirror we're putting on. Got the nice. direction, the auto dimming, the outside temp. So you do the mirror, obviously. Over here, I'll show you what else you need. You need to grab the ambient temp sensor. Okay. It's usually right here. Grab that guy. Now it's an 18 gauge wire to run everything. 18 gauge is even bigger than what they use, but 18 gauge will work. And if you want to, you can grab this piece. This just hides the wires going up to the headliner. And then just a fuse tap. We're gonna find a fuse that only has power. We're gonna find a fuse that only has power when the key is on. You don't want that just to run all the time and kill your battery. Then you use the fuse box under the dash. On this truck, there's nothing in, well, 23 actually, that's what I did. Anyway, 23, but there's nothing there because for the rear wiper, this is a truck. The trucks don't have rear wipers, but it doesn't matter because right, so here, look at the, the meter down there. No amps, or no amps, no volts. Turn the key on. We got 12 volts. Oh. This is the fuse tap, so essentially you take the fuse out if there was a fuse there. The fuse you're replacing goes on the bottom. The fuse for whatever you're running goes on the top. And these are directional. Because obviously the electricity goes from here through there. So if you run it that way, it's kind of bypassing the fuse. So 
So we'll end up running it like through the, and there's a crack under there, and we'll just put it. Just like that. I looked up the pinout for that connector, so all oh, we need is glare. so green and brown are for the sensor to and from. I believe they're the same color on the sensor. Um, auto dim side mirror is not used. I showed the wrong picture. This is the correct one. But there's a, so two wires for the sensor. It's six and seven. Black and green with a white tracer. Actually, they both have white tracers. Black with a white tracer and green with a white tracer. And obviously, whenever you wire this in, green, green, black, black. Okay, so we have power and ground, so with the key on, it should turn on and say open circuit. Ha! <laughs> right on. Okay, I'll have to turn it like it on once. on for a second there. No power. So now we got to get these two wires for the sensor through the firewall and through the engine bay. And also we got to find a place to mount Came through the little boot for the steering shaft. Ran it all the way around. I tucked it inside of this factory loom right here. You can route it however you want, I suppose. Then down under here. I just have it right here for now. I'll probably tuck it underneath the bumper somewhere. This truck has got a really big cooler of some sort right here. Um, you don't want to put it right next to that because then it's going to get heat from that and it's going to be a little off. So I'm going to stick it up here under the bumper. Some other wires are. Is it tied up something? We'll have to see if we can figure out why it stopped um, displaying. But regardless, that's how you do it. All right, so just to clear something up, I don't know if it was my fault or... It just happened to go bad. If you saw this mirror, it stopped working just after it started working. So I just pulled the mirror out of my mom's tire to see if it's the truck of the mirror. So her mirror works good. So I'm going to have to pull this mirror apart. I guess it's pretty common these go bad. So it is worth noting, I did say at the beginning that you want to ground out. Uh, there's one of uh, the green the grounded out if you're not using it don't do that that might have been what caused it uh, Maybe not, but just don't do it. You just need four wires Positive negative for this thing to turn on and then just the two wires to the sensor. That's all you need All right, so I fixed it I'm gonna show you a quick little clip of how I fixed it or what you need to fix so there's three little chips inside the glass here. So you got to take it apart and be careful. I kind of messed up a couple spots. Not bad. You got to take that front plate off and the glass comes out and the circuit board behind it and you'll flip it over. You'll see those three little chip deals.
the solder breaks on them and uh, they don't have a connection. Which should probably explain what's going on in my Duramax is every now and then my mirror stops working. And I just tap it and it'll come back on so I'll probably have to take that one apart sooner or later and redo those solder joints. But that's it. That's how you add it. I mean, it doesn't have to be a Chevy you add it to. I suppose you can add it to anything. It's just a Chevy mirror. So this has the direction and the outside temp and it's auto dimming also so you don't have to flip it back and forth.